tonight on What a Delay with Chelsea White, the sexiest carrot you've ever met in your life. Plus, I finally downloaded TikTok, and what the hell have I been getting into? And magician, comedian, all-around fun guy, the great Dubini, aka Greg Dubin, will be here, plus actor, comedian, co-host of the We Don't Even Know podcast that Tash, my boyfriend, and I met on. Christian Felix will be here, and it's all happening right now. Social distancing. What a delay with Chelsea White. Woo! Show to watch at night. You are watching What a Delight with Chelsea White. Woo, you guys! <laughs> Welcome to What a Delight with Chelsea White. Yes. Do we think that we're live? It looks like we are! Oh my god, Chanelle Bomic is here, the other co-host of the We Don't Even Know podcast. She was on season uh, earlier this season of What a Delight. And now her co-host Christian's gonna be here. It's the podcast that Tasha and I met on. It's a whole thing, you guys. But welcome to What a Delight with Chelsea White! Woo! So excited you can be here. Hey. I can't actually hear myself uh, in this new rigmarole we have in my ear. So if I'm screaming too loud, don't be afraid to yell at me in the comments. Also, before, without further ado, should we just bring in the man, the myth, the legend, sheltering in place, but never sheltering far from my heart, DJ Duncan Demon! Hey, Chelsea! Hi, everybody! Woo! How's everybody doing? I feel good. How do you feel, DJ Duncan Demon? I like that because I now where I have my monitor placed, I um, it just sure. uh, naturally I look there and then it just looks like I'm looking at you. It's a helpful cue. Well, uh, exactly. That's how I'm doing it right now. I'm looking to your. I'm looking at you, and now I look at the audience, and now I look at you, and then I crack a drink oh! and, and sob slowly into into, into, your, uh, uh, into technically <laughs> your into my sadness. sadness because technically, if you were just joining being us a figment for the of your time. imagination. <laughs> DJ Duck and Demon so, wait, lives in my this? mind. Can you guys see him? I'm never yes, sure. We're good. Uh, cheers. Okay, cheers real go. quick. This is how we start nice the show time. now. Over here. Yeah, ready? And <laughs> Yeah, that worked. Do that it one worked. more time because I feel like I fuck it up every time. Okay, ready? Three. Okay, ready? Here we go. Two, Three, one. two, one. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Clink. There we go. All right, everyone That's at home, nice. was that enjoyable for everyone? I, you know, if people don't tune in for just watching us be amused by that, I'm not sure why you would tune into this program at all, if I'm being perfectly honest. You guys, we got yes. my boyfriend Tash Neal right over here. He's not on hey. Cam 2. I mean, he's, uh, he's hi, on hi. Cam 2 what because you can see him on Cam 2, AK. but he's not Did operating it. Cam 2. I am also director of the show tonight. Me! Do, 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 do. This is a whole little rigmarole I have. Do, 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 I made a mouse pad I mean, let's get some cheers for that. I made a mouse pad out of a TRL yearbook that I got for working on TRL. Also, there's a dirty tissue. Well, that's good. <laughs> so there you go. That's what's happening. Oh, you guys, sure. you keep me young. I forget who said that. Was it an SNL character? What do you think, DJ Duck and Demon? Uh, oh uh, yeah, yes, let's go with um, yes. <laughs> so, DJ Duck and Demon, uh, tell us. Oh, wait, before you before you tell me, you know, what the hell you've been up to in my subconscious, I want to remind everybody, mm -hmm. as always, if you want to be in our studio audience, don't email us. Please. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Stay away, you monster. I love oh, wait, it. I, I love never it put so up my much. lower third either. Oh, that's you. Hey guys, oh, that's nice. my name's Chelsea White. All right, that's enough of that. DJ Duck and Demon. You're really killing it. You got it labeled. Thank you so much. I work yes. very hard. Um, DJ Duck and Demon, what have you been up to on my subconscious this week since we last saw you? Oh, oh, so much. Um, I can't tell if you're being so much. Just if um, if you, I'm really, really I'm small. really excited yes. now um, to be endorsing <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I checked out why. Listen, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't pre-produce to get political at the top of the show. Don't even get me started. What are you talking about? I would like to personally say how excited I am to be, to, to have choice in the matter and choose actively Joe Biden. <laughs> at least it's not fucking burning. But other than that, there's not much going on. Uh, I've been. I've been drinking a lot. Same, girl. Um, 
But technically, that's because, again, you've been, I've been drinking, drinking a lot. Yes, exactly. That's exact. You're exactly right. Um, oh, my God. Katie, thank you for joining. She's very into the jacket. I appreciate that. I got it on clearance um, from Express. I got it at Express. That's a joke that no one will understand. But I'll try to explain it anyways, and it'll be not interesting to anybody. But once again, I really can't imagine explain why it. anyone would tune into this show if they're not into my unique brand of getting so inside baseball that no one, not even myself, is amused. So basically what had happened was um, dear friend and comedian Mara Heron, bless, um, she moved out to lovely Los Angeles. She used to have a joke that involved a punchline. It was about like flirting in a bar. I won't do the joke justice if I tried, but it, it ends with the punchline of, you got that shirt at Express? And like being overly animated to like flirt with somebody, basically. That's like right. a very bad uh, thing of the joke. But so now every time I get something at Express, I just hear Mara Heron, my friend and colleague. I got it at Express. <laughs> That's the story, you guys. All what right. did you think, Gigi Duck and Demon? Are you now um, about about that Google specific Mara story Heron? that I already technically did knew? You? No, I oh, thought yeah, you recounted you it quite nicely. Because <laughs> you're in the I think. I think. <laughs> Yes, uh, you got it, Eddie. I got it, Eddie. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. So yeah, what do you think? We have uh, we have the I great Dubini of think a magician on, and I felt like this would be. Um, I feel like magician's assistanty. Do you know what I mean? You got a bit of a Zantana vibe right? going on. I gotta figure out this <laughs> IFB thing. I don't know what the fuck's happening. It keeps like slipping out of my ear. Tashnia, what do you think about my sequence? I think it's very magical, actually, very appropriate for the evening. Thank you. Um, what does Miranda Hobbs think? Ask her. Miranda, how are you feeling about this? Here, take the camera and so she can be on. She's getting upset. I can I can tell she's upset. Oh wait, don't show your accoutrement. Miranda, oh, there you go. Hey, yeah, nope, that's fine. She doesn't. Oh, yeah, show the feet. She, she likes to hide. Yeah, that's fine. All right, fine. I'm shutting you off now. Um, Tashnell, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, should we just get into what everybody's tuned in for? Well, you're tuning in for Christian. Of course. You're tuning in for the Great Dubini. But thirdly of all, you're tuning in for tonight's delight highlights. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong that's sound, the wrong sound effect. Okay. Did you duck demon? <sighs> no, it's the right one. It just played I right should, through. Uh, it's like it's like a, oh, but I don't have it connected to this. I'd have to I'd have to do it with my left hand, which would be less accessible for me. But don't worry about it. Let's go to delight like, highlights. It's like a magician's assistant arm with my sequence. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> you guys, this is tonight's delight highlights. This is everything I found delightful in a world that is falling apart at the seams. Also, I forgot to thank you guys. I know, you know, we did invent going live. We've been going live since 2017, and then season two started in uh, September. And I know you have a choice in sheltering in place programming. Of, you know, you're swimming in Instagram Live, so we don't take for granted that you've tuned in tonight. Uh, also, you still have plenty of linear content. Thank you for choosing us over an all-new uh, Lego Masters on Fox, I can imagine. I actually didn't look it up. Oh. I imagine there is at least a new or a rerun of, of uh, SEAL Team on CBS. What else? There's yes. uh, Blue Bloods reruns on Ion TV. Thank you for choosing us over that. We appreciate it. Um, reruns of Mom on CMT. <laughs> Thank you for choosing us over that. They watch the movie okay. on FXX. Thank you for choosing us. Okay. Um, you guys, this is everything I found delightful this week. I have news, DJ Duck and Demon. Okay. I'm on TikTok. Fucking finally. But I'm not active because I feel like it's still That's like... the news? Well, yes, DJ Duck and Demon. You don't think that's exciting? I mean, it, uh, sure. Let's go with it. I am Thank excited. Um, I'm not participating because I still feel kind of like not called to do that. I feel like I'd be forcing it, but I really like being a voyeur. Did you guys know there's so many fun things on TikTok? Who knew? I, I Did mean, you yes. See if I our listeners, that, yes. if our watchers on in the comments know about TikTok uh, or if I'm just introducing it to them. But uh, let's see. Some people in the comments. Oh, so um, uh, let's see. Uh, like Shona dad? in the chat says Tash plus Chelsea equals oh. Chalash or <laughs> Tashy. So that's good. <laughs> I figured out what our couple name would be two before, and I forget. I always that forget is, what we settled on. Chalash is good. I like very it. very funny. I'm down. Uh, TikTok is so fun. Falling apart at the seams. The Kevin uh, Brew uh, says, so true. Oh, Tash just... just oh, my God. Yeah. Wait. Can Tash I, is watching... Can I, can I ask myself wait, a question? Wait, give me the camera so I can put the camera on you. Sorry, I'm terrible. <laughs> you're not terrible. Oh, I feel bad. You're so wonderful. Here we go. You're never terrible. You're I, 
Go to I Kel. A... Is addicted to TikTok. Oh my god, <laughs> Kelly loves TikTok. <laughs> Oh, you're watching. You wanted. Men. I'm watching us. They wanted. They, you, oh, you wanted them. Oh, to I'm now seeing you. myself. Yeah, you're looking at yourself. Can you believe it? I, I'm uncomfortable. You're watching I yourself. Can't you I watch don't like yourself. This show is a lot of layers. Um, all right, you guys. Kelly, I'm glad you also like a TikTok. good dip. It's like a great uh, dip. There's seven layers. I have seven like hearing devices in my ears. I'm like listening to you guys on one channel. I'm listening to Skype in the other ear. It's neither here nor there. So you guys. I dip, you dip, we dip. Everyone does the dip. Um, when I dip, I dip, you dip. I wish we had that locked and loaded. This is what I found on TikTok. Yeah. Back to the main point that we started 27 minutes ago. It's already <laughs> fucking 12 after. Are you kidding me? The great Jabini is going to be here any minute. Greg, give me a minute. He's going to appear okay, in a puff listen. of smoke. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just do a couple then. Look at all the fun things I found on TikTok. There's so much cat content. Have you guys seen uh, this? This this reminded me of my reaction uh, every time we order Domino's pizza, which we do like three times a week. Here we go. <laughs> okay. You okay, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We forgot to mention the most exciting part of this episode is you can finally hear the clips. We figured it out. I can. It's very exciting. That, could you relate to that cat and uh, his or her butthole issues? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think we all can relate at one point and another to everyone's butthole issues, right? I mean, everyone's got a butthole. I like how DJ Duncan so, obviously, took that question, the issues. really took that question to heart, and that's why I appreciate you. Well, you know the quickest way to the heart? Butthole? Let's do the button. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me show you some more. Wait. Speaking <laughs> related to that, this wasn't. Uh, this is like an oldie but a goodie. But I won't call her out by name. But one of my friends, when I sent her that cat screaming butthole, she said, "Is this gonna be like the thing <laughs> where we find out it's fake, like the Yas cat?" And we were like, "Oh my god, did you think the Yas cat <laughs> was real? Y'all remember the Yas cat, right? Let's go. You want a tree?" Yas, you want one? Yas, you want one? Yas. I was like, did you think that the the Yas cat? All right. Yeah, no, no. I, I mean, that'd be weird to think that. I think. <laughs> I agree with you, Gigi Duck and Demon. Also, I respect your fashion choice. Do we talk about it? Sh no, but I mean, listen, we're in quarantine. Sh I can wear blinky glasses. Show your arms. I don't have to wear a shirt yes! under your <laughs> I can. Yeah. No, no Ooh. sleeves. No Is sleeves. It hot? Sleeves are over. Of you my don't mind, need sleeves. Or is it just Duck Hunt Demon's outfit. Who lives in my imagination? Listen, we're gonna if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna drink blood orange cider and dress you like an asshole. And uh, <laughs> let's get it done. World could end tomorrow. We gotta get it while we can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One more thing I found on TikTok. Which did you guys know about TikTok? I still can't believe it. So many cats What's on the TikTok. There. Here's another thing I found uh, that I just thought that especially. DJ Duck Hunt Demon and, oops, Miranda, you don't want to come? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Duck Hunt Demon, you and also Loyal Wads. What a delight. What a delight, okay. fans. Wads. Yeah, what a delight. Loyal Wads and fans. you would really appreciate, especially. Let's check out this TikTok cat. Okay. <laughs> you, Wait, one more time, one more time. You, you did text that around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, fine, you Brittany, you minx. <laughs> we have fun on this show. This, this show is mostly showing you something I found on the internet and then like giving myself um, affirmations. Have you noticed that? Oh, hold on. I have a compliment from oh, Goja Kel. Uh, Romeo is watching with me and he says this show reminds him of Space Ghost. That is Thank you so the much. The nicest thing anyone has Thank ever said to me. Truly, not I facetious. literally don't. Yeah, no, this is it. This is, I've achieved everything. You can take me away to the, whatever the afterlife in Chelsea's skull is. You're already is. there. Maybe we all are. I love yeah. Space Ghost. Do you think we could get oh, whoever is behind That's a very Space nice compliment. Ghost Thank you, show. Romeo. Um, all right. Oh, my mm. God. 916. Just a few more minutes before the great Jubini is going to chime in. So let's really quick. I got to show you guys this very exciting thing. That actually, late breaking news. Okay. There's a, tw there's, there's a twist again here. It was not TikTok, DJ Duck and Demon. 
if you can believe. <laughs> so um, this is actually a dear friend of mine who's also your friend since you live in my imagination, Patrick Hosmer, mm -hmm. a lovely, oh, talented graphic designer. Yes, we know him well. Um, he posted on Instagram this super sexy carrot that he found. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> la la. <laughs> and then he decided... He decided yes. to to dress it up and even and look at them look at the back. Yup, no, you gotta have the the thong. You must. Uh, you have to. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so that and I was saying it was the sexiest carrot alive, and then late breaking news that we got right before the show. Apparently, sure. um, we got correction from his girlfriend that it's a parsnip. So apologies oh. to carrots and parsnips alike, Damn. and to Patrick so and sorry. to everybody. Damn. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So that's yeah. the sexiest. We did know. That's the sexiest parsnip ever. One more look. Look at that. Ooh. Great definition on that parsnip. Yeah, All right. Also, Jim Jam. Jim Jam says uh, that they're wearing Crocs. Or it's, it's wearing, wearing Crocs. Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? The most stylish or unstylish parsnip, whatever sort of, you know, world view so, you have. I don't know, Chelsea, in quarantine, I have a, I have a quarantine ask question AMA, for you. AMA, DJ Duck and Demon. You probably already know Do the answer. You, you're have you it. been finding, have you been finding that your feed, because it's split between well-known celebrities and just people you know, or the combination of sure, the two, sure, right? Sure. I saw this carrot thing and I didn't really recognize, you know, I was scrolling through, I was like, haha, uh, and then, for whatever reason, in my brain, I was like, oh, that's a famous thing. Like, I was like, someone who was hyper, like Chris Hemsworth You thought it was like a viral thing or like, like a celeb thing that, yeah. I thought it was a viral thing. <laughs> and and then I went back and saw it and I was like, no, that was Hosmer. Which Hosmer, let me just also, say Tash straight up. Also, laughing that Chris Hosmer. Hemsworth was your reference. What? Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> what? Listen, his workout, his workout videos are great. He's a likable human being. <laughs> he loves his family. He's Australian. I knew, he's, he's I knew it was Australia. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Anyway, I don't follow too many celebrities. So I was just like, oh, yes, of course, this is it. But my point is, everything's blurring sure. together. And it, which is lovely. Also, all of Patrick Hosmer's content should be viral. That could go viral. He did an amazing. He should go viral as a human of, uh, being. Yes, entirely. I could go on and on about the wonderment of Patrick Hosmer, but just go check it out. Check out his his uh, his Instagram. Yeah, I support that. I support all that. Um, shout out to Patrick Hosmer, who I don't think is watching, but I still have love for him in my no. heart. Um, so I think I don't know. I think the uh, I think the great Dubini might be watching. So if you are, you can actually hear, and I'll tell him too. Just click on in any time. Clicks on in. Come on in any See, time. See, this is what would be good, like, if I had a producer, I wouldn't be, but there's some charm, I feel like, of me just, like, being the talent manager and the director and the host all at once. Don't you think, DJ Jack and Demon? Uh, you say charm. I say, um, what's the word? Uh, chaos? Overextension. It's, it's a little bit Britney and Kevin. <laughs> it's a little bit Britney and Kevin chaotic. You know what I mean? Of course. Uh, I'm trying to do the sound effects, but I, well, now the thing <laughs> though is, the chat since, I ever talk. since I figured out how to have you and the guest hear um, sound effects and such, oh, fine, fine. now I can't hear them anymore. So now I'm just hitting buttons and I'm like, is, is everyone reacting? Okay. Um, I like it. So while I like we're waiting it. for the great Dubini to come dazzle us here in a minute, I do want to really quick play this for you guys. Is anyone as big of a gem fanatic as I am, Gem the Holograms? Do you remember Gem Woo! the Holograms? Yes! 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 All right. So this, I actually had this loaded like three episodes ago, and it always just like falls by the wayside for time. But this is a PSA that Samantha Newark, the original voice of Gem, actually, she recorded this. So it's... It's okay. a, the, how they used to have like those PSAs at the end of Gem and G.I. Joe. Do you know what I mean? Of course. And so it's mm -hmm. one of those PSAs, but then Samantha Newark, the original voice of Gem, did like new voice to um, relate to our current times and urge people to stay home. Let's check it out. I don't feel good. I just picked up my dad's prescription. Makes him feel better. Want some? Well, I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea. 
That may be over-the-counter allergy medication, but that won't help with COVID-19. There are no pills or shots for the coronavirus right now, so we're advised to stay in during this quarantine, practice social distancing, and of course, always wash our hands as much as possible. <laughs> Doing the right thing makes you a superstar. <laughs> we're advised That's to stay sweet. in. Is that fun? Yeah, right, um... I loved that. Yeah, Jam. I love. Um, do you think we can get Samantha Newark on this program? Yes, get Samantha Newark. Have someone in the chat. Go get them. You know the contacts. Okay, I mean, I actually, I'm like, uh, I think she followed me back on Instagram. So I don't even know why I'm acting like it would be so crazy. I think, I think our first guest is has joined <gasps> the, the. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Um, no wait, did he? I don't see him. It says in the chat, he says the Skype says, oh. joining conversation. Oh, great. Well, that's exciting. So he is hoping. He is hoping. Hey, Greg. Wait, I don't see him anywhere, though. Let's try. I, oh, I there he is! Oh, my God, it's all happening. Okay, so, guys, uh, da, 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 this is a where you have to bear with me a minute. So, well, first of all, Greg, people can't see you yet, but they will hear you if your mic is on. Can you hear me? But we can't hear you. So turn your fucking microphone on, god damn it. All right, no need for the vulgar. <laughs> turn it on. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. My mom's watching. Hey, you might have to go into your settings. Uh, you might have DJ to go Deck in. Um, gonna walk you through the tech of it. Oh, there it now? is. There okay, we go. So guys, this is also what's going to happen. Can you see me? Not yet. I We're can hear you. I it. can see you. You're uh, fine. It's on Chelsea's you, end. You, people at home. I'm sorry. This is all no, my it's fault. It's not your fault at all. You look fantastic. So people at home can hear you, but this is what's going to happen. I don't want everyone at home to be scared. I need you to hold something that's comforting for you. And for two seconds, you're going to not be able to hear anything. And you're going to see me trying to put uh, the great Dubini into his little Skype thing. So just like say the alphabet to yourself and we'll, and we'll be back. So here we go. Let's do this. Yeah, you guys, I think I got it. Oh, and oh, now good. it's the open. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, this is going good. This is going well. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just really said it last week. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Listen, well, first of all, welcome to Great Dubini. Yay. And second of all, what what ha happened? Usually we do a little tech check first, but uh, but Greg, the great Jubini, he does an Instagram live that happens immediately before our show. So he was going live when we normally tech check. So, but we we went to great lengths to get him here. He's a busy man, and look, we got him. Can you believe it? We got him, even though he even though he oh, yeah. on Instagram live. We fucking got him. All right, you guys, you're all amazing. So. Great to meet you. Right. Now that we have you here, first of all, I will. I definitely. I. I you're gonna re regale us with a trick, but I just want to set set the the stage here for a minute because we have a very fun connection. You were a guest on the podcast that my boyfriend Tash and I met on, and of which Christian Felix, who's our second guest, is going to be coming on here after you. He is the co-host of that podcast, so we all have this fun oh. So Greg was there the night that Tash and I met. He's like basically I responsible mean, I, for us getting together. I've been taking credit for it since I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll continue to do so. I saw that Chanel is watching. Yeah. Gosh. Hi, Shanali. We owe hey. and Christian everything in our lives. It's in our um, And then... Um, so, 
So, Greg, so, you, um, you're a magician. Oh, wait, hold on, Chelsea. You're echoing. Oh, you're echoing, no, Chelsea. No one else is. <coughs> one moment, sorry. I don't think so. We'll see. That's so weird. Am I still echoing? Yeah. What if I totally turn this off? I want to show you what I'm looking at, Do which is... Your screen is no, it's yeah, vertical. Am, flipped to the right. Everybody at home, tell me, am I still echoing right now? Maybe not. I mean, I, I still hear a slight echo. If it's not hearing for anyone else, that doesn't matter. I don't hear an okay, echo. Well, okay, then we're well, done. I know. I feel bad, though. Tash, get on your Instagram and huh? tell me if you hear an echo. So, Greg, you are a musician. You also used to do stand up. You're also breaking things in your home. Um, well, yes, that's a constant. You, please be careful. You do an Instagram live every, is it Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m.? Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. I started out doing it every night, but that only lasted a week, and I realized that it's actually a lot of work. <laughs> So you have people, actually have some, I have some B-roll here. You have um, performers on I Was On on Monday. You have, uh, we're doing oh. that. You have people doing all sorts. You have like cool. gray stuff. You do magic. There was like puppeteering happening. Well, I don't puppeteer, but a friend of mine in all this craziness, he's a magician and he also does ventriloquism and he taught a ventriloquism class which I took, which I, you know, just because, and I figured if I'm gonna take a ventriloquism class, I might as well make a puppet. <laughs> so I spent the day making a sock puppet for the ventriloquism class. I love it. <laughs> and I quickly realized I'm never gonna be a ventriloquist because it's way too much work. I don't even, I mean, it's one of the most impressive skills I've ever witnessed. Also, wait, now I'm distracted because is there still an echo? Because I kind of hear myself in my. There is. It's also a very Only creepy. when you speak. Oh no, what do I do? Should we just give up? I wonder, is. Greg, is, is the audio loud on your end? It's not. It's I can barely hear it on my okay. end. Okay, I figured. Well. Should I grab some headphones? I don't think. Well, you're not listening on the phone as well, right? Or are you? I was gonna say, actually, we're getting we're getting from Christian, the next guest, saying, Greg, if you mute your microphone for a second, let's just do a test. You, or I'm sorry. You might. If, if, or, if you don't have headphones, then that might be part of the issue. Okay, it's muted right now. That sounds good. I can hear everybody. No, there was. But there's no echo on me. No. Oh well, Tash Neal is no, watching no and everybody's saying there's no echo. Right, because he just muted his mic. Did it go away? I muted yeah. my audio. That's so strange. Did it, the echo go That's away? So it did. All right, hold on. I'm going to grab head. This is what we do on this show. We just, you know, do echoey things. Uh, Would you like to learn <laughs> how to do... Would you like to learn about streaming? By the, by the bootstraps or whatever other bullshit people say? <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to teach you, and not so much teach you, just show you our trials and tribulations, and perhaps you'll learn from that. <laughs> Um, well, listen, either way, we'll see what happens, and I will just speak not that right. much during Greg's segment, because I know we tested Christian earlier, Hello. so I will let Greg do do his magic, which he's about to do. Oh, this... It does not echoing anymore. There we go. Greg, can we hear you, though? Okay, now I hear you. Great. I think it all sounds good Okay, now. great. Let's just okay. keep moving forward anyways, because you know what? This is free content that I do from my living room, and we're doing our best. Greg! Well, hey, listen. Um, it's we didn't do a tech check of all the nights. Of not all do a the tech check. All the fucking nights. You wait, yeah, and t yeah. There you go. You look fantastic. So, Greg, here's what I want to do before we um, get into it and do a trick. We talked about your Instagram live, which you have many fine performers here. We'll show it again, just for anyone who didn't see, because there's a lot going on. You have, uh, you know, yeah. singers, puppeteers, all that stuff happening. Also. A lot of bird I have a little bit of a yeah, Dubin Magic at Dubin Magic, right, on Instagram for people to watch your live oh. show. Um, but also, I have a bit of a big reveal to you. This might be a, a live bombshell. We didn't talk about this before. Okay. I I want you to brace yourself because if you don't know about this, I'm you might be shocked. When I was pulling up some research about you, mm -hmm. I found something disturbing because you go by the great Dubini, correct? But yes. But look what I found. 
Hi, I'm the Great Dubini, <laughs> and I have a box here. <laughs> Who is this gentleman? Who is this what imposter? Wait, let's watch it one more time. He just like points uh, to a box. Hi, I'm the Great Dubini. He has a whole. And I have a box here. Is, do you know? Do you know about this imposter? Has anyone ever asked you about this? <laughs> 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 I love I've how much delay I brought. It's so funny because I've seen that guy like years ago when I first when all of this when you when you know like you, what is that on YouTube? On YouTube yeah. When that first became a thing, and I was like, my first action, <laughs> my first reaction when I saw that guy was, "Who is this motherfucker? That is motherfucker!" That I was so pissed at this fucking guy who's like 80 <laughs> who's probably been going by the great dubini for Before 50 right. years <laughs> i think he actually does a whole thing i think he opens the box and his niece there jumps is. out yeah, oh you've something. watched the trick yes he opens the box his niece jumps out oh. it's a whole thing miranda come on up do you want to be a part of the show no she doesn't okay but not in like 15 Tasha, years give me some more wine of course but, not. i'm sorry you're connected oh, by the way don't walk too far away what's that did you I can I can curse on here, oh, right? Oh yes. yes, I mean absolutely. my mom watches, but she's heard me say terrible things. I want to fuck that tournament, man. <laughs> for real. <laughs> and, and here's the weird thing: when he when I thought it was a carrot, I didn't want to fuck it. But as soon as you said it was a turnip, I got a raging a parsnip. Turnip. So, Greg, do a parsnip. Oh, so parsnip. what what is that? Never mind. I know, it changes Never mind. things back, oh, right? You know, it's it rewinds things back. It's an erotic roller coaster. He really went on a I'm not wheel. Fucking her. Fucking journey! Shanali says there can't be two great do beanies, and Shanali, you were correct. Well, so there's only one solution. DJ Deca Demon, you know what to do. I, okay, I'll Thank take you. care of it. Thank you, Tashniel. Tash, I, I had a suggestion, but I won't say it out loud. In my custom What a Delight glass. Um, all right, so listen. I think. So now we should invite him on her show, and then we'll just... <laughs> what if she then, finds... I think that's a good call. There's probably maybe somewhere in the world one other great Dubini, and she should just have all three of you. She and Christian should have all three of you as guests on We Don't Even Know podcast. There's, a, there's a jockey named Dubini. <laughs> oh, really? It's a, it's a real Italian name. So I sometimes... It's either a jockey or a horse, and I get updates uh, because, uh, well... All right, fine. I have a Google alert for the great oh, yeah, Dubini, cool. and every so often... Don't judge me. Um, I get a, I get an update about that I that I won some race or came in you're third. Like, wait, you're like, wait a minute. I was drunk this weekend, but I won the Kentucky Derby. Oh, wait. I'm just trying you're to show Miranda. She's over there. There you are. Okay, listen. We got Christian Felix is going to be out shortly. He might even crash this a little bit for the end of our, our chat. But great Dubini. But let's not right. talk about being great. Let's fucking show the people. What do you... All right. What are you I gonna a, impress had, us? I had some other stuff planned, but because because <laughs> it, it got weird, I'm gonna do I'll do something different. Okay? It got weird. Did okay. it get weird? It got Not weird. yet. But I want to I want to I just want to point this out that this is here. Okay, and I don't know if you can see it, okay. but I'm gonna put it back it's here. It's back there. Okay. Yep. Okay. We can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'm up against the wall there, so I'll, I'll stand here so you can see it the whole time. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, so Chelsea, yes. I, I don't, I want to, <laughs> oh, oh, great. What? Who's this? It's oh, Christian. I see Christian someone Felix is joining the feed. So here, wait, let's just put him up too. Let's make it a fucking party. Up and I'll use him right. so that there's no Christian way that anyone Felix, can think of anything for him. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, Greg. I, Greg, I have to fix you really quick. There you go. Making up songs. There oh we go. God. Christian Felix, ladies and gentlemen, uh, co-host of We Don't Even Know Podcast. Yay! Hey! What up, what up, what up, Christian. I was, I'm so delighted Christian that you guys Field. can overlap a little bit in this segment. Look, we're just going to, it's just going to fill up with boxes. It's like a Saturday Night Live sketch of just like, then you can't even see me because there's like a super my face. But um, I, because we talked about earlier in the show, Christian uh, co-hosts with Shanali, the We Don't Even Know podcast. That's where Tash and I met because we were guests the same night. And then Greg, the great Dubini, was the third guest that night. So this is just a real family affair. But listen, uh, before it we... It is. I, actually, I think Tosh was the third guest. I was the, the second okay. guest. Okay. I get, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have fun. Um, okay. Great. Great. I just for just history fans, clear. Yeah, set the record yeah, straight. Set that record yeah. fucking straight. Okay. Right. Well, this, so this is perfect. Christian, we were just about to get started. I was going to do something with Chelsea, but now um, you popped in. I didn't have any idea this that you were going to pop in. exciting, isn't right? it? Anything, anything no, can happen. Not at all. Okay. And you and I haven't spoken at all since that night, right? We have. So how have you been with all this? I've been, I've been dealing, man. But I've been, I've been healthy. I've got a routine. I've been decluttering. Oh, decluttering is good. Uh, yeah. Wait, is this part of the yes, trick? Sir, I'm, I've also been is getting Christian to talk about. Yes, it is. I'm not just. Trick? I'm not just taking your show over. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I, I just wanted to. Like, I want to ask you. Okay, let's imagine um, a ahead of t in, in time, right? So, uh, and, and when this whole thing is over, let's just say for shits and giggles that like you and I are going to go on vacation together. All right, which. You know, we don't know each other very well at all, but that doesn't matter. Where do you, where would you like to go? Where would you and I go? Pick anywhere in the world. Maybe somewhere where you've been or somewhere where you've never been. Just anywhere you, you and I should go to. I think we should go to, uh, John is pretty cool, actually. It's a nice St. John? It's a solid choice. Okay. Sounds tropical. It's true, right? All right, so yeah. you and I are going to go to Sun when this is over, hopefully. When this is all over. <laughs> and because you and I don't really, because you and I don't really know each other, it might be kind of awkward if we, if just you and I went. So why don't you pick somebody to go with us? Who would you, you like to, to take with us? You want me to name who I want? Yeah, name it so that they First know name, who. First name, last name, and, social and security all know number. Who. If possible thank you for, just their first name is fine you give their first name and their last initial if you want just give their first name uh well i mean i feel like i would want to take um chanali yeah, I like where this is going. perfect I like this. yeah chanali is how we know each other right oh so gosh. Where is this going? um so so me you and chanali yeah are gonna go to saint john now um if you, I, I don't like to fly. I get nervous. So, <laughs> what's like a, a lucky charm that you would want to take? Uh, I would want to take a, uh, well, not a real turtle, but a <laughs> turtle. Like a, like a, a stuffed turtle or like a, a, like a token, turtle like token? a, a tchotchke? Wait, I have a turtle tchotchke like a, on the show. A shelf. turtle? Do you see it? I do. Like, do you want it? Like, yeah. Like a jade, a jade turtle. Oh, okay. yeah, a jade turtle. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. So you, me, and Shanali... It's my turtle chopsticks. ...are going to go on a trip to St. John. And with us, to make sure that everything goes well, <laughs> you're going to bring a jade turtle. Okay. A, a little jade turtle. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's so, super nervous about what's been going on in the world, right? Um, and everyone's looking for a cure, uh, figurative, figuratively and literally, right? Um, like a magic pill, if, as it were. Right. I'm, now, before you came in, I pointed out to everybody that I had this. It's been sitting there the whole time. That's why I've been, I got to take out my headphones. Okay. Yeah. You, you see it, right? We see the thing. Yep. This is exciting, DJ Duckhead Demon. Yes. <clears throat> I got to put my headphones back in. Hold there. on. I'm going to die. We riot. What? Yeah. You guys see it? We see yep. it. I didn't show you exactly what it was. I figured out what the magic pill is. There is a magic pill. Okay. It's hope. Hope. It's hope. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As soon as so Chelsea <laughs> asked me to be on the show, I wrote this thing. And I'm going <laughs> slow, so you not switching anything. 
Oh no. I want you to read it out loud so people who can't see it can, can see this what it is says. All over. We will go on vacation to St. John. Hopefully Shanali will join us and bring a Jace Turtle. <laughs> Greg to baby! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's on Yeah, Jason Derulo. <laughs> oh, I you know that air horn. I need to get that going. Give me. Oh. That's oh, insane. Yeah. Oh my god. That's wild. Wow. Oh my god. And look, Miranda Hobbs is losing her mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane, I, Greg. I, <laughs> What? Give it up for the great Jubini, you guys. Woo! Oh my God. That was super fucking fun. And wait, well, so and. Wow. Just, I want to disclaimer. I cannot read your mind. Uh, uh, I I beg to to differ. <laughs> what I can do is subtly influence you to do and say things that you would not otherwise say. Or did do, you, and that is what I've done. Did you feel overcome, Christian? Did you feel like I was? Did, did I was you, did you nervous. Feel, it was this yeah, energy that I you I've, felt I've, an energy experienced before. No, wait, is, down and deep in is my the bones. Other disclaimer, Greg, that um, every time you do this trick, you have to get good <laughs> on the wish, right? So, are you guys gonna go? You're, oh, you're gonna, going. You're going to help, yeah, Christian and Shanali go on a trip to St. John with a turtle, Jay Turtle tchotchke, right? Or, or maybe they should help me go with them because... <laughs> oh, but not the way that They're the ones with the fancy Absolutely. show, not me. Greg, that was fucking fantastic. That was super fun and impressive. Thank you so much for well, joining. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. What a delight. Thank you so much for having me. It's... Uh, the whole reason I started doing my own show was so that I could invite you on my show so that you would invite me on your show. So now I'm going to just end my it's show. circle. Well, <laughs> add Dube and Magic. Turn into his IG Live. Go check him out. Hire him for your corporate Zoom event. Yeah, hey, yeah, let me say this before I go. I want to say this, and I've been saying this a lot. I want to say this to anybody who's watching now or watching the rewatch that has a job. Um, and it works for a company that's that still has a budget for these sort of things. Listen, you know, and I hate, I, I don't want to be like, oh, please Venmo people this and that. You can do that. That's great. But if you have the ways and the means and you know somebody who's a performer, um, we're, it's like an attack bomb dropped on, yeah. on everybody. So if you, if you have the ability or you know somebody that has a company and they're doing these weekly Zoom meetings and they can afford it, hire somebody even if it's somebody who's not doing it yet if you if you hire them they'll figure it out that's what i did i've done a few so far i haven't done as many as i would i've done a few people dig it people that are going to these zoom meetings are pissed off and that they have to work. we're pissed off that they have no work so a really good way for people to just get out of the, get out of their heads and as a company you're you're doing something and you're giving people Amen. work. So, you know, they're every they're out there clapping. They're not just clapping for the I mean, of course, the nurses and the doctors and the and the postal workers, they're doing important work, but we also do important work and it's it's the shit that goes on so that people don't go out of their too out of their minds. We're the ones so that bring you cat it's, TikToks it's great. Live, you know. Oh, that's a whole other thing. I love that. I'm going to go down a rabbit hole for that. Or, <laughs> or a cat. You were so asshole. right. And, well, and you actually you did guys. a wonderful thing where, yeah, and you put everyone's Venmo on the show. So literally, will you put, I still need to implement that. And now that you said it, I feel like an asshole that I didn't implement it between last night and now. But no, drop, you will you please uh, drop your Venmo in the comments, which now I'm also tricking you into forcing you to going back and giving me a view on the live. But come back in, put, put your Venmo name in the comments. Greg Dubin and Christian, you do the same. DJ Duck and Dubin do the same, and like tip Greg Dubin for his tri for, yeah, it, for his trip. Don't, don't feel bad about that at all because that's just I that's just it. because of the times. I, instead of a Venmo, I'd rather you call me and hire me for there your you corporate go. gig. You, you know, hit up hit up the great give, them, give money to whoever you can. But, um, but it's not about money. Also, it's about you know just just 
keeping our heads on straight. So thank, thank you, you guys. Man. I love you guys. Be funny. You. You you man. Keep on making magic. You're the best. Friend. See later. you later. And the great Dubini, the great Dubini. everybody. Oh. Christine, I'm going to really quick move you up. Wow. So everybody count to 10 really quick. I'm going to move you up. Like a Jefferson. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> Look at him now, Chris and Max. All right, Woo! give you a proper intro here. Uh, DJ Duck and Demon, play a fun sound effect yes. for Christian. Whatever you oh, like, you dealer's me. choice. Do we have Reese Witherspoon drunk at a DUI? Oh, Reese Witherspoon. Oh, Jason Derulo. There we go. Jason Derulo is always a, a classic. <laughs> so, Christian. You're it. such a magical person. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, As we've said oh, a oh. million goddamn times at this point, you co-host a wonderful podcast called... We don't even know. And here is hey, uh, the little logo of you. Oh, hey. oh my god, wait. Also, this is a picture from the time where Tash and I met, and uh, the great Dubini was a guest, also. So, this is a picture hey. of the night me and Tash met. And there's Greg over there on the left, and you and Shalom. Uh, you like how I'm being mad respectful in the picture? Wait, you're what? <laughs> so I'm being mad respectful once I'm like, yeah. yeah you're <laughs> 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 Ash was on his best I haven't seen that picture He's since that night. Up. That is hilarious. Wow. Anyway, like, I'm not. I'm cool. You're like, cool. it's, it's autonomy. Um, Woo! That's funny. So, and yeah, so, Chris, you and Shanali have been hosting this podcast for years. You did, you jumping on the social distancing here, too. You guys, this is you guys doing on Zoom. That's you and Shanali. That's you. This is just some beer I grabbed. That's you, like, blowing into something. I forget what was happening there. Um, <laughs> sure. The so you guys are you guys are zooming the podcast. I'm give me give me the quick and I mean I'm sure I I mean I definitely asked Shanali about this too when she was on, but just for anyone who's not familiar, give us like the the brief life story of the We Don't Even Know podcast and how you guys came together on that. Uh yeah, so uh Shanali and I met uh early days when both of us kind of just arrived from uh, to the city as kind of new young artists kind of trying to make our way at this white shoe law firm downtown and the biggest bankruptcy at the time, Enron. Ooh. And she's a lawyer, I was a paralegal, wow. and at that time we were still hiring like armies and armies of temps. Right. And so we were just like at that law firm all the time. But come and go as we please to go to auditions and this, that, and the third. And, you know, a lot of those temps were also artists. And so after we did that for like two years, became super tight. And after that ended, it was really her idea. She's like, let's figure out a way to kind of keep in touch and keep like connecting and vibing. And she's like, let's do this podcast. So initially I was like, all right, well, I'll do it only if we do it in a studio, like, you know, like your setup, Chelsea, like, you know, in an <laughs> intimate setting with your loved ones around you. And we had one guest, and we did that for about like 20 or 20 so ep uh, 22 episodes. And then she tricked me. She's just like, let's do this like special in front of a live audience, this, this place. And then next thing you know, it's just, it's live. It grew. And now we have three guests. We always end with a musical guest. And that's why Tash was. Was was third in that lineup. Um, to, that was like a camera move by me. Yeah. 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 Um, and so yeah, now many moons uh, later, we're like seventy plus, almost you eighty episodes. Are, uh, yeah, I guess because it's that's monthly, great. and that's so what it's been like six or seven years, or I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we actually started in two thousand twelve. Oh when? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and this is like the second. This is the second crazy end times like apocalypse that we are living through. The first one, we, we, we had an episode right before Sandy. Wow. And I wow. remember like that, that kind of, we did, it was our first one we did in another friend's house. We had an audience, it was outside. And I just remember that same sense of kind of like not knowing clearly this is like a whole new normal than, um, than, than that. But uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, but yeah, and that's how we met you and Tash, and here and we here are I, now. Yeah, and you're Tash, a, I you're a little you. floating head above my above my shoulder. I'm a little, a little floating angel head. On a little you devil. look fantastic. You, I feel like you were born for this <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> I mean, meaning because of the sequins. <laughs> okay. It's the sequins. You got that COVID look, girl. You got that COVID look. <laughs> 
uh, and he's got that little inner child talking to you too. He's looking. He got that COVID look too. But, I don't know what you're talking earlier, about. Earlier, one of our commenters said that our show reminds uh, him of Space Ghost Coast to Coast, and at that time, I said that was the nicest thing anyone had said to me. But I, I rescind there. that, and that that I have that COVID look about me is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Yeah. What I really mean is that I am not. I'm overwhelmed by your tech oh prowess. God, thank you, you got this. The box, the, the, the this, it's and the that. You made it so easy for me to just click. Wow, it was one click, and here I am. Well, so I just I got to give you hey, mad props. That means that. a lot to me. I feel like it's still such a janky, like put together with twine. I don't even know. I'm like hot changing things on air. Where I'm like, let me put a Christian in his little box while you guys watch. But <laughs> you know, we're we're getting there. It's a work in progress. Uh, so I appreciate that. But um, also, Chelsea, yes. real quick, speaking of work in progress, just so you know, oh, we have nine you. minutes thank until you, you. Instagram cuts thank us off. Thank you so off. much for that reminder. I was going to say, too. OK, well, that's great. So basically, yeah, Christy, I mean, it, Instagram cuts us off at, at an hour. So probably we'll go right up against that. And, uh, you know, yeah. so we'll keep an eye on that time. Thank you, DJ Duck and Demon. But so now that we've uh, so we don't even know that's sort of how how we know each other. Um, that's that's one of the major projects you have going on in your life. But you do so many things. You are an actor. You're you do voiceover work, correct? Yeah, I do. I, my last acting gig I did was for a new show that's coming out on HBO. I was a co-star, so it's a it's a well, there are no small parts, but it's a it's a minor role uh, with Kaylee Cuco and Rosie Perez. It's going to be on oh, nice. HBO. It's called The Flight Attendant. Okay. Um, right. And, Let's go. Uh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, I was stoked to work on that. It was really great energy on the set. Uh, that was one of the main reasons why I had a major life event uh, I just completed, which was LASIK, and I am recovering from that, which is great. You are, you're giving uh, me so my yeah, own and, segue here because I was going to ask you about that next. Even though, oh, even me, though I've made you, you talk yeah. about it, <laughs> I've made you talk to uh, about LASIK to me in private, and you also talked about it uh, a couple episodes of We Don't Even Know ago. But you know, wait, fuck LASIK. I, I was a talking point I had for you, but because if we're going to get cut <laughs> off, we have more important matters at hand. Well, give everybody at home, like, what's, like, one sentence about LASIK? <laughs> That's, like... One second one, about LASIK. What's your one think, sentence think, about think. LASIK about your experience? And then I want to ask you about more important things. Go. What? A... It's major surgery. Wow. There you go. There you think, go. Think, think deeply. Wow. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I will drink to that. I decided not to do it, and I just put these things on and prayed. So. <laughs> I think it's going well. well <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I want to ask you most importantly, if you're willing to share, the last time we talked, I know that you, like like so many people, I mean, the obviously everything, our, uh, our country, our fucking world, we're going through in the world of the pandemic. Um, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of tragedy, tragedy, a lot of harsh realities. That on the other side of it. There's a lot of uh, interesting situations we find ourselves in. Maybe, maybe some serendipitous. And you have developed sort of a a quarantine bay oh. situation, Ooh. if I understand. So, so your uh, words, not your words. <laughs> oh. So tell us, give us like the short and long of because uh, I know other people even the short some and have long. had this experience where obviously you know now that we all have to shelter in place, it's either. Uh, deteriorating or escalating relationships, right? We're all in an interesting position. So, so what's your situation? Well, like, I'll, I'll try to keep it. I have my eye on the clock. So, I don't want to um, rush you. We, was, we can, when Instagram cuts us oh, off, oh, we I'm can so go. Ready for this. When Instagram cuts us <laughs> okay. off, oh, wait, we can this. we can just go back right up. I. All right, cool. So, um, so yeah, so this time is it's been like a major disruption, and yeah, you can that's going to cause transformation right. for me uh, on, a, on a very personal side. Um, you know, I, I, there are a couple things that, that ended up happening. And like the first thing is it just, I had a lot of time to sit with myself and kind of just like think about like what's going on in my life and everything. And that had a little bit to do with my dad and I didn't have like a super tight relationship with them. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I, as of like three weeks ago, like formally came out to, to him wow. and even though it was like not like a really like significant relationship in my head I, I realized that even 
him not knowing that about me was preventing me in a lot of different ways that I kind of underestimated. So that all was connected to this gentleman that I ended up swiping right on like the day before social distancing got put in place. You You swiped and matched right before everything blew up. The week, literally, like that Sunday when Cuomo was like everything Amazing. shutting down and like oh everybody God. staying. Amazing. And so, what's been interesting about that whole like situation is just like, yeah, this is like completely turned like dating and like casual meeting like of on course. its head. And so, like all the minor escalations, like from like first we were messaging on the app. It was Tinder. It was Tinder. <laughs> no, you know? she- um, <laughs> Before I met Tash, when I was on the apps, I am the biggest Tinder apologist. I say everyone's on whichever app, so, and you just gotta, it's just a way to meet somebody, and you weed out, just gotta you navigate. Just navigate. That's right. It's just That's a platform. Right. It's just That's a right. platform. So, uh, we like, you know, we're messaging on the app. Then it's like, all right, we're gonna text via phone. Then it's like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to each other via phone. Then he switched it up. He's like, FaceTime audio. I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> FaceTime audio. And then finally we started videoing. So he one major point by the first date we had was a cardio Beyonce dance class out of Alvin Ailey. Okay. Oh, Alvin Ailey! That's Tasha's uh, mom did stuff with Alvin Ailey. She's my... So we shared remotely. Uh, one, he was on one screen, I was on the other. So <laughs> and the, the dance was on the other. And then like we just slowly been able to get to know each other. So. Yeah, it's been, who knows where this thing is going to go. Like, it's still super early days. And so it took three and a half weeks before both of us felt comfortable to finally meet in person. I went over to his place, and we had a socially distant (laughs) date. We (laughs) spoke for the whole time. It was crazy. We were just like, we were just like, (laughs) yeah. That is amazing. Wait, what did you do on the date? And how far (laughs) was it? Amazing. Uh, Where did you go? You just like um, stood in like a parking lot? Like, he what went happened? to his place. He has, he has, luckily, he has like a nice spot with like a really big deck. And like, we just like went out to the deck and I drank water and like ate some apple slices. Good. And, apple you know, slices? perhaps okay. maybe this is... vapors were in the air. I don't know. But, you know, it was a, uh, it was a really, <laughs> really nice, really nice That's time. Nice. Oh, Corona love. All right. Oh. It's doing terrible things, and sometimes it's bringing people together. You just never know. Sometimes it's bringing people together. It took a pandemic for me to formally come out to my my Haitian father. He's so funny. He's like, just don't tell, don't tell the family. So just don't tell the Haitians <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening. <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> Very Haitian. You're like, okay, I won't hire a uh, you know plane with the banner behind it to fly <laughs> over. The nation I'll go of over Haiti. Haiti? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you're like, I won't put a, I won't, I won't go on. I won't send a press release. I won't send a press release to the nation of Haiti. I guess I was going to, but I guess I won't now, Dad. Yeah, it's cancel it. <laughs> cancel the press release. Cuomo, get rid of that in Cuomo's talking point. Um, Christian, that's so fun. I'm very happy for you and very glad that you're just safe and healthy and that you're doing well. Really, well, just in the time, I mean, so basically, I guess, I don't know, honestly, in, within the next two, one to five minutes, uh, Instagram could shut us down. So I want to play a game with you until Instagram shuts us down. But before I play that little game with you, uh, tell the people when the next we don't even know is. Are you guys going to do another Zoom? Are you guys going to do, what's the story? Yeah, we're going to do another Zoom, and we always try to schedule them the last Tuesday of every okay. month. So the last Tuesday of April. I don't have my diary in front of me, but since I'm on my computer, I can okay. just quickly pull up I my calendar and tell you, I believe it's April 28th. I was going to guess that. Is oh, the... Now I don't want to cry. April 28th. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a Zoom. Is we, we're, we don't have quite the setup that you, <laughs> you have, Ch- uh, Chelsea. I mean, I don't think anybody does. I mean, it is. I don't even have just, the setup I have. Know. I don't know what's happening. Um, no, but you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good> luck. <laughs> That's fantastic. See, uh, you can look. I mean, uh, there's a We Don't Even Know podcast on Instagram, WDEK podcast. I mean, just Google We Don't Even Know. You live in the future. You'll fucking find it. Um, and definitely tune into that. Obviously, listen to all the back episodes wherever you listen to podcasts. 
Christian, yes. you're a delight. Let's, before Instagram kicks us to the curb, yes. will you play a little game with me? This is... Let's uh, do it. Usually on the, on the show, we play a classic game called Delight or Just All Right. And this is where I show you things and you tell me if it's a delight or just all right. But for the quarantine, we're going to play Isolate Delight or Just All Right. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Something. Isolate Delight or Just All Right. Let me open my thing. Uh, isolate Delight or Just All Right. Oop. Uh, I, wait, oh. Chelsea, we oh, just, just went down? down. No, wait, I still see myself. Yes. Yeah, we just went down. Yeah, we That's just went shame. down. You guys, we tried. Try, you want me to try? Yeah, <laughs> we tried. <laughs> I'll go back up, but my game really wasn't worth it. It was basically just asking I still want to know like about TikTok the game. <laughs> um, Christian, thank you so much. That was that was cool? Amazing. I really yeah, appreciate it, it. Thank you for rolling with us. Thank you for trying to also help us tech uh, troubleshoot <laughs> the great Dubin. Here, let me actually stop streaming and start recording. Um,